Hello guys and welcome back to G Light Travels. Um, I know I haven't posted a video for quite a long time. I think it's been over over two years. And in fact, uh, this morning's video it's not going to be about travelling, but it's going to be about uh, one of my other professions. Um, I'm a reseller. Uh, so yeah, so recently I went to some charity shops uh, where I bought some items uh, to resell for a profit. Uh, that's what I do. That's one of my businesses. Uh, that's what I do to provide for my family. Um, anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get into the video and I'll show you what we've got. And one other thing I'd like to mention before we go into the items that I bought to resell. So the morals of buying from charity shops and then reselling for a profit. Um, yeah, me personally, I've, I've got no qualms about this whatsoever. I'm going into the charity shop, I'm buying their products, um, they're making profit on that because they get their stock for free. Um, some of the stuff are, is for personal use anyway. Um, yeah, we don't buy everything to, to resell for a profit. So yes, that's, that's my personal opinion on it. Anyway, let me guys know what you think about buying from charity shops uh, to resell for a profit. Okay, so without further ado, we'll now go into the items. Right, okay guys, so yeah, here are the items that I bought from uh, a load of charity shops uh, yesterday. Let's go through each one. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what I paid for it um, and what I expect to sell it for uh, online on eBay. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at this comic. Um, so this is yeah, a Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles uh, Adventure Turtles Adventures comic. Um, this is something that I wouldn't normally pick up, but I thought yeah, let's just try something new. Um, yeah, it's from is it from 1990 so it's definitely vintage it's in yeah fairly good condition um, but yeah not a lot of value in this particular item um, I paid a pound and yeah I'm only looking to get maybe yeah, six to eight pounds uh, for this one so yeah not not a fail because yeah I view it as a, a learning experience um, so yeah only six to eight pounds resale value on that item um, next up Let's have a look at these Starbucks espresso mugs. Now I really like these. I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for Starbucks um, items. They usually hold their value quite well. So we've got um, yeah this UAE espresso mug here, United Arab Emirates, um, in very good condition. I don't think it's ever been used uh, in fact. And we've also got this Dubai uh, espresso Starbucks coffee mug. Also, yeah, I don't think it's ever been used. I think <clears throat> these two come in a set. Um, yeah, so they're they're brand new, uh, unboxed, um, as I've listed. I only paid four pounds ninety eight for the two, and I've listed these for twenty eight ninety nine. So not bad there. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay, next up, let's look at this builder bear. See if I can grab him without knocking over He-Man. Um, so yeah, so this Builder Bear, I paid uh, three pounds, and I, I usually pick up Builder Bears if if they're for um, if they're priced at a reasonable price. Apparently, this one makes some noises or sounds, glows up. I'm not sure. Um, I tried testing it, but yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, tried new batteries, doesn't seem to work. Um, nevertheless, I feel, still think it's got some value because it's quite a unique uh, Builder Bear, and I've listed this one for eighteen ninety nine. And not sure if I mentioned, but yeah, I paid three pounds for that one, so not too bad there. Um, next off, we've got yeah this vintage He Man uh, action figure. So he does a little a little pow. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, there we go. He's got a little. No action there. Um, he comes with a lot of accessories, but <clears throat> obviously none of the accessories are here with this guy. Um, this piece is missing here as well. So yeah, not not a huge amount of value for him. Um, I only paid a pound, um, and I'm going to list him for around fourteen ninety nine. And I think he is from two thousand and three, although you probably can't see that. So yeah, he's definitely vintage as well. If he had all the accessories, yeah, he would be worth a bit more. Is he going to stand up? No, probably not. Never mind. 
Um, so next we've got this uh, Mattel Etch-A-Sketch, also uh, a vintage item. Um, I paid £3 for this one <clears throat> and looking to sell it for around £12 to £15. There we go, you can see it working there. We go across, yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is one of the toys that I think I used to play with when I was a kid. Um, from the 1990s, possibly the late 80s as well. So yeah, nice little item there. Always worth picking that up if it's a, at a reasonable price. Okay, so next off, we've got this Disney, and I think this is Princess Moana. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. If you do know better, please mention that in the comments. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure whether I should pick this up, but I thought, yeah, what the hell, I might as well. Um, paid £3 for it, and I think the resale value is around £12. Um, the Disney Moana stuff, I always like to pick up. There's um, a guy, a Maui, I think his name is, um, plush toy, who I always pick up. It's quite a big one, I think it's around 12, 15 inches. Um, that sells for around 25 quid. Um, so yeah, not, not too bad there. <clears throat> Then we've got kind of, yeah, bog standard um, travel board game. I like to pick up travel board games when I can, particularly the vintage ones. Um, this is Battleships, and it's from, where is the date? I think it's 92. Oh, no. Sorry, it's 1982. So, yeah, proper vintage one, this one. And, and yeah, it's, it's in pretty good condition. Um, not a lot of value in this. Only paid £1.50. But this one should sell for around £10, possibly a little bit more if I list it straight away and can get it in for the Christmas rush. Um, okay, moving on to next to some electronics. I always like to pick up electronics if I can. So here we've got a Sony CFDS50 um, CD player. I've got CD in there and a tape player as well <clears throat> see if we can eject yeah oh we've also got a tape uh, just a random blank tape um i haven't tested this yet um but if it's all working this should be um this should have around 25 pounds value so yeah you can definitely get quite nice markups with electronics particularly if they're working um so yeah so not a bad little pickup there <clears throat> okay, and then we have some board games. Um, so let's move over here to Totopoly. This is a, a Waddington's board game, also vintage. And um, there's different, yeah, different types of Totopoly um, from different years. There's an older one which I've sold before, which has yeah quite a lot of value. I think it's around twenty-five pounds, if I remember correctly. Um, let's just have a quick look in here. So the condition looks pretty decent. <clears throat> you can see here the board's in quite good nick. Um, there's some instructions there. Um, looks like all the pieces are present. They did say in the shop that everything was there, but obviously you can't always take that. Uh, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. So yeah, as you can see there, I paid £3.50 and I'm looking to sell this um, if I get it in before Christmas, around £18, possibly a little bit more, um, who knows. But yeah, Totopoly is always a good board game to look out for. Um, we also have another vintage game here, Waddington's Formula One, the great car racing game. As you can see, the box has seen better days. And yeah, the lady in the shop was very rough with the box. Um, she was also putting more sellotape on the sides, which I absolutely hate. But there we go. Um, let's see if we can see the year. Uh, no, I can't see any year. But this is definitely vintage. I think probably 70s, this one. Um, and the contents, yeah, actually look quite decent. Board is in quite good condition. Um, looks like, yeah, it's got most of the pieces, instructions. So, yeah, so not too bad there. Um, I'm looking to sell that one around £16. Again, possibly a little bit more um, if I get it listed before the Christmas rush. And then we've got this. This is quite a nice pickup. I thought it would have more value. This is a brand new and sealed 
Labyrinth um, board game by Ravensburger. This is also vintage. Uh, oh no, not that vintage. 2007. So yeah, I think it just about fits into the vintage bracket now. What's that? 14, 15 years old. So yeah, brand new and sealed. Yeah, almost 15 years old. That's quite a nice find. Um, paid £3.50 for that. And I'll sell this for about £20. And usually, I mean, that should fly off the fly off the rails uh, rails no you don't hang board games should fly off the shelves let's say um, at Christmas time so yeah should be a quick quick flip that one bit of luck and yeah last but not least we got a couple of Harry Potters we got one hardback here um, Order of the Phoenix and then a paperback here the Half-Blood Prince this one was only 99p I think I paid three quid for this, which I don't normally pay that much for, for Harry Potter books. But I saw a price this morning, I was like, three pounds? Oh. Um, anyway, they're both first editions, yeah, if I remember correctly. That's the first edition. And this one's definitely first edition, I'll check that. And yeah, basically they will go into my, my Harry Potter bundle um, until I have a full set. And I can normally sell a full set for around 50 to 60 pounds. Um, obviously that won't be listed before Christmas, that's just going to go over into the new year. Okay guys, so there you have it, that is what I bought from the charity shops um, yesterday. So, let's flip this around and I'm going to look at my notes here and see what we spent, um, what we're expected to sell it for and what the anticipated profits are. So total spend was only £30, which is... Not, not too bad. Um, I mean, charity shops are always more expensive, well, usually more expensive than car boots, um, jumble sale, trails, and things like that. But I, I'm quite picky. I will only buy stuff that is usually reasonably priced, unless it's, yeah, very, very special. Um, the sales are anticipated to be 179.97, and total profits after all deductions approximately 120 pounds um so yeah so not not too bad for a morning's um picking obviously yeah i've got to spend time listing it uh, packaging packaging it uh, and sending it but yeah that's that's what i do uh, for the most part i enjoy it and that's how i make a living okay guys so that is it for this uh video if you like the video please like comment and subscribe um what about you if you're a reseller do you still go to charity shops looking to pick up stuff to resell it for a profit or have you totally jacked it in? I mean, for me personally, uh, I used to go to charity shops a lot more than I do now. And to be honest, there's some charity shops which I, I don't even go into these days because, yeah, basically they are priced at eBay prices. Um, I think they know uh, that they can get more money um, if they price at eBay prices, or or they simply have an online store uh, and they price uh, they they sell it there um, for obviously eBay prices as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, there'll be more to come, particularly in the new year um, when the car boot sales reopen, when I'll be buying lots more stock um, and hopefully selling for lots more profits. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Have a good morning. Bye for now.